unboxing of the Run Hood Raleigh 600 Pro. It is a fairly unique generator that has hot swappable batteries. They do more than just swap in and out. They can also power individual devices if you want. Of course, it's solar powered. Probably are not going to unbox that in this video, but I am going to fight with tape. We have the Run Hood Power 600 Raleigh 600 Pro Power Generator. Looks like a little Tie Fighter. So it's packaged, and it is very light because it has no batteries in it at the moment. See right here. standard generator things. You can power it via solar, via the wall. And let's take a look at what's in the bag. All right, we got power plugs, power adapters. Looks like a solar adapter here. Uh, car adapter. And a wall brick of some sort. And anything else? Instruction manual. All right. Not sure what you're supposed to do with these when those are out, but we will see in a minute. All right. So next thing we have is one of the four batteries. These are kind of cool because you can take them out and you can power your phone or just charge the batteries outside of the generator, which means if you're camping in a spot with no sunlight, you don't have to take out power in order to go and charge your batteries. All right, here's one battery. Hood. Connectors are there. Has a little power indicator on top. This is two out of five. And we're going to put that here and open the rest of them real quick. We're going to at least open one more so that we can see a fully powered and operational Run Hood Rally 600 actually can do. Probably won't be too much because we don't have these charts. Alright, so we got two right now. <clears throat> Go ahead and put in here. You can see this little thing on the back. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Doing something wrong here. Alright, that one's in. That one's in a lot easier. Let's see. Do we have anything on the front that indicates that we have power? Alright, we are on. Because we have 36% power, and we got a little flashlight, which is awesome. We got USB-C, two USB-As, another USB-C. Probably one's power delivery. Oh uh, yeah, this one's power delivery. Uh, da -da. Don't know there. A couple of outlets. 
when you kick them on, you can hear a fan. All right. Oh. Powering this thing off for a minute. And let's see what we can do to charge it. got an indicator that we are charging. <laughs> All right, so these things, make sure we're still recording because I'm paranoid. Ah, uh, yes we are. All right, so these things, kind of interesting. Hold on. This is the USB engine comes with the Raleigh 600 Pro. Let's see, we've got these interesting ports on the back and USB ports on the front. Now the way that's going to work port that's my fault it didn't go in I was about to hit it all right so now we can take this battery and power things what you can't see here <laughs> this is now powered I don't have anything yet speed oh wait I do have one USB thing All right, so we'll uh, bring the blend jet, which if you don't have a blend jet too, you really should. And plug it in, and we have USB power. All right, so then we've got this, which is a wall outlet. It does the same thing as that. You can have your main station sitting in your campsite one of these off charging somewhere and a wall outlet which I've got to get this Say you bring your random salt light along with you and you just need a salt light away from everybody else. Plug it in. Power it on and oh look. 
Bam. You too can be camping with an awesome salt lamp. Alright, this one's fan just kicked on. It's getting kind of loud. And let's see. The only other really cool thing with this. Oh yeah, take a look at these. What are we gonna do with these? They don't fit. There and they're just pretty much not needed. I'm wondering what, the, what we're gonna do with these. So it could be covered up when everything's up charging via solar. All right, so the thing I haven't shown, and I'm not gonna demonstrate it, is that you can charge <clears throat> two of these via a solar panel externally. So if you wanna do that, you're pretty much set. Also, actually, looks like you could probably charge. Yeah, let's pull this open. Looks like you can charge All right, so this is your external charging adapter and it is called the SC200 And it takes your solar input, or I'm guessing this too. Oh, let's see, do we have it? Ah, uh, yep. And then you take these, we're gonna power this off. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the uh, awesome rock out of the way. Awesome rock. Ugh. Back over to your corner, providing light, but nothing else. And we're going to go ahead and move the awesome blend jet to which you should really get. They're awesome. Never thought I would like one until I got one for free. Well, not free, I had to review it. But, alright. So these, you press these two things, pull off. We're going to take one of these, lug it right there, and we have indicator that we're charging. Take this one off. And we have indicators that we're charging. All right, so I guess we will take. Oh, these don't fit. Yeah, these not quite finding a uh, use case for, but I could be missing something. If it fit that, looks like they might fit these. Let's see. Let's see with this one, does it fit in the end? Maybe? Yes, no, no. No, same size, but does not fit, so. I'm not sure what is up with that. Anyway, as this starts running out of power, you can swap it out for two of these, or one of these at a time. This has little fans in it. They're blowing right here. And uh, yeah, turn this thing off. So the only thing we have not done is the solar panel. And I just don't feel like that today. Get to that soon. Anyway.